Hey y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Cross DIY and today we are going to be making something for outdoors. So, I'm really excited to make this and just to let, remind y'all, if y'all follow me on social media, which links are down below, there's a list of everything needed for today's project and you can also get that list on the community tab. So let's get right into it and I will show y'all what's needed. Alright y'all, so the first thing that you're going to be needing for this project is some floral pieces that you can get from Dollar Tree. I am not 100% sure how much is needed, but that's what this is what we're going to start with. Now, this I really don't know where it came from, but I'm sure you could find some foam floral pieces somewhere that aren't too expensive. This was given to me. So I'm going to be using this also. We're going to be using a pool noodle. I picked green because we are using flowers, so kind of help blend it in a little. We're going to be using a broom handle and glue. I'm using hot glue. Y'all can use what y'all feels best. Okay, we're going to start on the first step and I went ahead and I arranged all the different foam flowers into different sizes as you can see. And then that way it'll make it a little bit easier to make the flowers. I'm going to show y'all an example of the flower that I'm going to be making. It's like this. It's just different sizes. And it's just going to be something just a little creative and cool. I decided different colors because I thought it would be really cute that way. So, let's get started. So, we're going to go ahead and start. And I'm just going to pick. And this is literally all you have to do to make these flowers. And you, there's again, like I said, there's five different sizes. So, you just pick the size you want and the shape. And just go from there. Just to give it a little interesting aspect. A little interesting. I can't talk y'all. To make it look interesting. I just really can't talk y'all. <laughs> so there we go. Plus one down. I'll do a couple more and then we'll move on. So let me figure out what I want to do. No, I already did that. Not exactly, but. Nope. Just trying to figure it out. Um. go and let me do one more and then we'll move on so green pink and then I think purple all right all right y'all so I forgot to mention while creating these that you're gonna need to glue them together so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to add some glue on each part, on each flower, and stick it back on there. So that way, when it's time for the next one, it'll be ready. All right. All right, y'all, now that they're all glued and dried and I'm gonna tell you I tried something with some of them as you can see this one is just flat it doesn't have anything on top you could do it that way or you could have it where the glue pokes through and I just think that looks a little bit better I'm gonna use what I have but I thought that was really cool so that's why I did it they have because they have little holes in the middle and the little color is the little pieces just pop through so now we're going to get started on the project and what I'm doing is, excuse me, these pieces right here, the little flower tips from the uh, floral, hold on a second y'all, stop it real quick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the flower and I'm going to poke a hole. And I'm going to put some glue in there and have it stand. And that's literally all I'm going to do for all of this. I'm going to try to do it at an upwards angle just to make it look like the flowers are actually in it. But we'll see as we go. So that's what I'm starting with when I do this. Is I'm going to just... Do it like that. And we will go from there. Like with these, I'll take, I'm sorry y'all, I got glue all over it. And I'm just gonna glue, put glue on the back. 
and stick it on there. And we're going to try to put as much of that on here as we can. So, I'm sorry. I do not like the little spider web glue thing. So, and there's no rhyme or reason. Y'all can do this however y'all want. I'm just picking some and putting it there. I have not laid it out on how I want to do it, but this is the way I want to go with it. So. And like always, like all my videos, this is a um, video you could do, a project, not a video, a project you can do with kids if you have some. Look at that already. <coughs> Excuse me. I think it's already looking good. So just get back to it. And again, you can use whatever flowers you want. These are the ones that I had on hand. And that is why I'm using these right now. And look at it. I think it's already coming out looking good. Just, if you get them too close, you might want to work with what you use. And now I have a smaller one. Just to make it work in the area. This might be something fun to do for Mother's Day, Easter, um... Uh, what other days is there? A birthday for the ch a kid or just have them do for spring and summer to just decorate around the house. I must put that in the same place. How about Alright y'all, I went ahead and raised some of my flowers because I just really wanted to add some different ones. And you're just, like I said, going to continue going around with the silk flowers and the foam flowers and just creating a little garden, I guess you could call it. And I picked this because I thought it would look really cool, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. Let me get it in there. Or not. just gonna continue to do this as you go. These can go in between the bigger ones. Apparently I don't have as many floral as I thought so I'm probably gonna have to go back and get more at a later date. But it's fine for now. And we're just gonna continue building the thing. These I found last year and I thought they were really, really, really cute. So.
And you're just going to keep doing that until you fill it up to how you want it to look. So, I mean, it's just uh, whatever your preference is. And then you'll go from there. And then, like I said, you take these little ones. and fill in any holes right here. I might actually need the wire for that, so I might have to cut the wire for those because they're giving me a little problem. But it's not too bad. put it up against something just to make it because I don't think I want to do a full all the way around so I was not planning on changing what I was doing but my husband gave me a good idea I'm gonna cut this in half so may not be the best cut but I'm gonna do it So, that way, I mean, this one's a little taller, obviously. I didn't cut it in half like I thought I did, but I can cut trim this down. And that way, if you want to make two and then decorate it, but I'm just going to do the one side to show y'all, this one just to show y'all, like I was saying. So, okay, y'all. So, I don't really like changing the project up in the middle, but, you know, my, like I said, my husband gave me a really good idea. But to make sure that this stays on because it's going to be hanging, I'm going to add glue to the uh, stick. That's what it's called. I'm going to do it up top too, but I'm just going to let this dry before I do that. Because we want it to stay. Well, I can just change that. And this will help it stay while it's hanging. But I just really liked my husband's idea when I'm doing this. This is why I did this. And I added some garland. You can do it the way it was originally done. The originally way I said it. You do not have to change it. It was supposed to go on the ground. And even cutting the pull noodle in half. You had quite a bit that you could stick in the ground to make sure it stayed in the ground. So it's not a huge deal how you do it. But I just really liked that idea. All right. All right, so the next step is I'm going to take this vine that I bought from the dollar store because like I said, I really decided I want it to do it this way. And I'm gonna attempt to get it in there and hold it down. And then I'm just gonna wind it around And I will be gluing it in certain spots to help hold it. I just want to make sure I get it the way I want it to look before I start gluing. So. There will be glue added to it.
so I'm gonna be like I said that's this is where the glue is gonna come into play let me get my new felt so it goes the right way all right and that's just in certain spots just to help hold it so allow me to do that <laughs> Get near it again, stupid. Yes, I'm calling myself stupid. Just I don't want each one of these to shift, so that's why I'm adding glue to it to help it stay in place more than it already is. Let me let these dry real quick. Now, I will say again, you need to choose what glue works in your area. If you live in the south and you're wanting to do this for the summer and springtime, hot glue is not a good idea because when it gets hot, it melts. So, but I believe whoever gets this will be putting it inside because they'll only have a room so it should be fine though for picture purposes I will put it outside to show y'all what it looks like so always remember uh, to use the glue that works in your area best if you're putting stuff outside like winter time I can use hot glue because it gets cold enough it stays cold enough so, you let these dry now and then I'll do the top and then we'll be done. came out I enjoyed making this project even though it wasn't exactly what I envisioned it came out gorgeous I hope y'all enjoyed it and if y'all like this project please 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 like share subscribe and comment because it does help my channel grow all right bye